Copy AI really has two different functions for it with chat and workflows. So let's break down really quickly what chat is. You're probably familiar with chat tools by now, chat GPT being one of the more popular ones you've probably heard of or even experimented with. And copy AI has the exact same language models used by OpenAI's ChatGPT. So we're using GPT-4, as you can see up here in the corner. You can change this soon. We're gonna make Anthropic's Claude models available here in chat as well. And what this is, or the way that I use it internally, is, is a really strong brainstorm buddy. So I would go ahead and write something like, give me some good ideas for a blog post on go-to-market strategies. And then in doing that, I will instantly get some ideas and results right away that I can go through and start to implement. Now, Chat is a wonderful brainstorming buddy. It's a wonderful research assistant. However, it's really made for one-off tasks, specifically trying to write one blog post or a blog post brief or trying to write a LinkedIn post from an idea that you have. It's not really built for entire processes, and that's what Workflows is for. So let's hop over and talk about workflows and when you would use those in your go-to-market strategy. So here we have an example of a workflow and I like to think of workflows as an entire process where the AI is completing the small tasks along the way. But now rather than let's say using chat to write a LinkedIn post one by one by one, you can run these at scale and in bulk. So we're going to go through uh, all of these workflows, how you can make your own workflow, how you can customize them. But right now, the idea is to just get a step for how a workflow is different than chat. Again, chat was used for a one-off task or a single question, but this is to build an entire automated process where all of the tasks are completed along the way. So again, in this example, all we would need to do is enter a keyword. Let's say go to market strategies. And this single workflow is going to accomplish various tasks for me. It's going to search Google. It's going to pull the top results and extract the headings. It's going to find related keywords to the keyword that I put in here. It will then take all of that information that it gleaned from the Google results and the related keywords to build a content brief. From that brief, it will build a content outline. And then from that, it will build an entire long form blog post. And we're going to go over how you can edit all of these, but you can quickly see how workflows are very different from chat. Again, chat being for one-off tasks and workflows are to build you entire processes or systems that you can automate and have those tasks accomplished along the way. Then with the output, you can integrate it into Slack, email, basically anything to make sure that the right information goes to the right people to keep your team aligned so that you can go to market much faster, way more efficiently, and way more affordably. So this has been an idea of chat versus workflows. In the next video, we're going to look at the workflow library and see what's already pre-built that you can start using today.